if you are looking for some great tips to help with your Google display campaigns, then this is the video to watch. Hello, I'm Uzair and thanks for watching this video where I'm going to give you my three of my uh, top tips to help uh, you with your Google Display Network ads optimization. So let's take a look at a few ways to make sure your Google Display campaigns are in tip-top shape. Adding managed placements. Reviewing the placements report can also yield placements that are performing well. After identifying which mobile apps, URLs, or YouTube channels or videos you would like to add as managed placements, head to placements in the left hand navigation bar and add the placements. It's important to make sure observation is selected. This is a way to observe performance and set custom bids for the placement while not limiting the ad group to only that placement. Automatic placements will continue. With the targeting placement option, your ads are only served only to the selected placements. I wouldn't recommend this targeting option for a general uh, display campaign. This setting is better utilized in other campaign types such as remarketing and affinity audience campaigns. The observation setting should give you all of the data you need plus the ability to bid up or down. When it comes to selecting your placements, you can search using keywords to find new placement opportunities. You can also upload multiple placements if you have an existing list. Save your changes and you should see your placements populate in the placements tab. Add the bid adjustment and targeting uh, setting column to review bids and make sure targeting is correct. Frequency capping. Frequency capping is a campaign setting that adjusts how many times the same person sees your display ads. This impression threshold is set for each ad, ad group or campaign in the given time frame, day, week or month. In my experience, setting a limit will help the ads run more evenly. Although the test will be slower to complete, it can reduce ad fatigue in the long run. If your ads were performing well and are seeing declining results, this is a good adjustment to make. In 2020, there will likely be changes in how ad frequency is managed to ensure user control and additional transparency in Google Ads. Ad performance. Regularly reviewing display ad performance is something you do on a regular basis. However, there have been recent changes to the default ad type that you should know about. Legacy display ads were officially phased out in November 2019 and replaced by responsive display ads. This change was not a surprise to me since Google continues to make push uh, towards more automation for advertisers. Top performing headlines, descriptions and images can still be tested in responsive display ads. They will just be presented differently. Content exclusions. Content exclusions can be set at the time of campaign creation. It's a good idea to occasionally review content exclusions to make sure the content your ads are appearing on is in line with your brand goals. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, thanks for joining in and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye for now.